WikiLeaks organizer Julian Assange claims that the progressing profound state upset against Donald Trump is an operation by Foundation powers to unseat and supplant him with Vice President Mike Pence. In a tweet on Thursday Assange said that Trump's political capital had been transparently plundered throughout recent months by GOP, CIA, Netanyahu, Goldman Sachs, and so forth. The Free the Project reports. Basically. Assange's stating is that the previously mentioned partners who need to see Trump gone have played a long amusement, whereby they have worked to separate whatever number disliked positions as could be expected under the circumstances, e.g. tax reductions for the super-rich, push the subsequent political cadaver to Mueller and introduce Mike Pence. This, obviously, was done as methods for separating Trump from his political base which to a great extent contradicts CIA interventionism, Zionism, and globalist managing and account cartels. The thought behind it being that when Mueller moves to prescribe indictment, Trump will have strayed so distant from the positions that got him chose that there will be an insignificant open clamor with all due respect. This takes after jabber not long ago that some observed Mike Pence as the deep state's protection strategy. Truth be told, WikiLeaks Assange tweeted back in March, that there was an arrangement in progress by Hillary Clinton and her supporters inside the intelligence community to constrain a Pence takeover. As The Washington Post's Josh Rogan seen back in March, Pence is seen by numerous in Washington as a figure who may go to bat for the customarily hawkish perspectives he embraced while in Congress, an intermediary of sorts for the GOP National Security Foundation. Assange's position about the Pence upset has been recognized by free columnist, Mike Cernovich, who broke the Susan Rice unmasking story, and has beforehand said that inside sources have affirmed that Pence is attempting to evacuate Trump in a profound state overthrow. Back in August, Cernovich announced having inside data from White House's sources that asserted Pence was working in the background to include Republican votes Congress for a conceivable arraignment vote to evacuate Trump. T. Bits of gossip about an inside overthrow started amid the race crusade when it was accounted for that Pence started plotting an upset after a tape of Trump bragging about grabbing ladies was made open. The tape's discharge, one month before the race, made contradiction among senior Republicans and drove a few pulling back their supports and calling for Trump to pull back as the gathering's presidential hopeful. Pence, known as a profoundly religious man, was said to be next to himself over Trump's remarks on the tape. Pence's significant other Karen was apparently appalled and called Trump unforgivable, just absolutely disgusting, as per The Atlantic.